August 11th, 2008, the second work day of the week. And now time to get into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 224. Today, brother, I'm going to do something, uh, try to do something a little bit different than what we've been doing. If you would uh, like to blow the dust off your Bibles and go to chapter and verse. I'll go a little bit fast, but you'll be able to use the pause button that you find down here at the bottom of the video and be able to turn your uh, book to chapter and verse and read along with me. So we'll go over to Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 that through death he might destroy destroy him that had the okay second timothy chapter 1 and verse 10 our savior jesus christ hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel now over in Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God shall wipe away the tears from off all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. For the Lord has spoken it. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 55. 5457 When this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is thou sting O grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which is giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of sound mind. Psalm chapter 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Sorrows of the believer. Sorrows chosen rather than sin. Now Hebrews chapter 11 verses 24 through 25. Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. It is not for me to be seeking my bless and building my hopes in a region like this. I look for a city which ham have not worked. I long for a country by a sin undefiled. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Bright and joyful is the morn. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Brethren, are you ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master? emphasize the master he says follow me 
not on some path that the tradition of men has chosen, but the path that the Lord has chosen. And if you are not following Him, if you are not following His commands, a Master commands you to do things. And you should be doing it as He says. If you follow these commands, these commands will lead you on to the narrow path to salvation, to eternal life. Brethren, if you haven't been doing that, get down on your knees and repent. Ask for forgiveness of listening to man and instead of God. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for today. We're going to close with the music from Amazing Grace. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And with that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.